It's confidential. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... Ah, this can't be happening. Who would do something like this? Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Terra used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Nice symbol here, too. The Nonable X. This is kind of creepy. Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice. It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. What's this? It's mechanical. Some sort of device, maybe? Can't you analyze it? Not from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. You mean it's safe to open? Probably. Don't tell me you're going to open it. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add probably. Still, we can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? There's so much wrong with that statement. But yes, that's the idea. What was that sound? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. There's somewhere close. Wh what the? What? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway. 
Um... Hey! Freeze! What is this? What is this? I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please! <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Ryuki, want me to cover you in plaster? Ryuki, how about I hang you up there?
I'd like to bury you right about now. I o I opened three bottles last night. I wanted to forget about something. Want to take a bath together? That sounds like a trap, so... No, thank you. Wow, that's so cool! You're not gonna improve my mood like that. I smacked the hell out of some symbols last night, like that monkey toy. Before I knew it, it was morning already. This incident will stain your record more than spilled coffee. Is your head as empty as that pumpkin, Ryuki? A tanuki may have been the better choice for the new investigator. I feel like every time I try to push you in the right direction, you fold. Like those curtains. Come on, boss. Ryuki, let me give you some good advice. Squint your eyes and stand back six feet, and the mosaic will disappear. What kind of advice is that? I'd like to turn you into a soccer ball. If only I could control you like an RC car. Your daughter. I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> It's all right now, because I am here! Half Might! Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is, I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. I... can't 
just stop now! I should be able to handle this better than anyone! Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip-up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the Half-Brain Investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. I understand your enthusiasm. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the Half-Brain Investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki... Are you okay, Ryuki? Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted... Me... You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. I can't believe I was told this today, of all days.
Today was the day I lost my other half. I had a younger twin brother. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago, my brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and... He got run over, crushed half his body. This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then... Are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball? Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way. But thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shona. The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Oh. <laughs>
Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too. Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by... Richie Chieda. He's an Chieda's father. Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Chikara was... Reiji Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. The building also has a small recording studio. All right. I'll see you there later. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Our destinations are decided for now, but... Iowen? Misaton? And the third is Lemnusgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing, and it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. Oh. 
School's closed because of the flu. We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. It was so annoying. I had to get outside. She must mean Mr. Date. Young girls have wills of their own. Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! W what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. Though, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. I got it three months ago, but I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. So you want to get kicked? Your Oh, so you want Your thoughts are written all over your face. Ah, uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was 9 years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. Indeed, we have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals, or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continued to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. So what is it you wish to discuss? The father And who is this? Mr. Ryuki, from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki, from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it.
Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation, you're also the chief director of Iowan and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? Hmm, <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an ant to him. Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. Who's that? The president of Nice Japan. Nice? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite... well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gain nothing from his... I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? If only he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him and book him. Well, hold on now. What were you doing two days ago, February 11th, around 8 p.m., and on February 9th at 6 a.m.? What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. It's no spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Shikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, 
I invested in the future that Research Institute could bring us. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. His only daughter is completely healthy, and his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. wealth you have. There is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes. I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved, and the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. We've wasted enough time, I think. Are we done here? We've wait. I'll be going now. F -f 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 Father! P -p 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 Please let me marry your daughter. I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter! Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go... tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood! I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic! And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! In any case, stay away from my daughter. 
Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. Uh, wait! Aww. Kizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but... I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though... Hmm. That is how my father always is. Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. He has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great, a stalker. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. Oh, actually, he was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Ah, you were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Uh, what's this called again? Rendezvous? What? No, that's not it. A uh, flirtily. What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? Uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once in a lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit, but I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you can learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago, at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So, you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah, but I was here yesterday, so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. My name, Lian is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Lian means bond, just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Mm. 
Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? The place I worked was Horadori Institute. What? I actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my skills to borrow valuables. Many times. I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? <laughs> That's right, Kizzy. You! I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no That's not wrong, but... It's wrong! It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime! And the thing is, last night... Last night? You broke into a house? No, not a house. Uh, I guess I have to say it. I broke in. To Horadori Institute. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. So I didn't take anything either. Please believe me. Wait, who asked you to do this investigation? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all. Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. Wait a minute. Is that? I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy? You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Well... Five years... No, perhaps six. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? There. I put the glass slippers in there. And the letters. 
I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. This is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years... Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... Perhaps... Huh. You know, that is kinda romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of sign to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying it now. Ah, uh, I can't wait! Six years! Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. Huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? It's kind of like that. Uh, I don't get it. Just watch. Let us begin. Start the music! I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah, that was seriously amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation! 